Imagine how many needs would go unanswered without volunteers. Volunteering is about giving back, contributing, and helping other individuals and the community at large. It's working with others to make a meaningful contribution to a better community. It's also good medicine for those feeling isolated socially or without purpose. Here to tell us more about why volunteers are winners is Betty McElroy, Volunteer Program Manager at Council on Aging of West Florida. Betty, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, you are a huge champion of volunteers. Yes, and a I former am. volunteer yourself. That's right. Um, but you recently hosted a volunteer appreciation event. Why do you feel it's important to express appreciation to those volunteers? Well, you know, we all need to know that we're needed and appreciated. And volunteers especially, although they don't really look for that kind of uh, uh, recognition, um, but especially, my goodness, if you stop and think about uh, what they're doing, and they're doing it for nothing, um, it's amazing. You know, this country was founded by volunteers. And, uh, you know, I'm not too gun ho volunteers, not much. But uh, mm -hmm. without volunteers, if all of our volunteers in this county and uh, went on strike for a few days, the wheels would stop turning, trust me. Very, very good point. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned that they're not expressly in it for the appreciation, though I agree everyone does appre right. appreciate knowing that they are appreciated. But what are they looking for? What, what are they, You talk to volunteers all the time. What motivates them? Well, everybody has a little different motivation, I think. Uh, and, and I'm going to talk about what I call true volunteerism, true volunteers. Um, what, you know, some people, and here I am at UWF, do it for uh, college credit, you know and others uh, may uh, be able to get uh, points for different kinds of things by volunteering. And they may start out just with that as their motivation, but hopefully they get involved doing something that draws them in and they realize, wow, this is really cool, helping this place or doing this for that person. So everybody's motivation is different. Now, some people will want to volunteer for a cause. I always say, and that's, if you believe in something, then that's where you should go volunteer. Find out what, wherever you're gonna, wherever you decide to volunteer. I tell people this in orientation, and I'll say, if you're not turned on by your volunteer job here at the Council on Aging, then you need to go someplace else. Because volunteering should be something that turns you on. It should be the thing that really, you get, they get so much out of it, believe it or not, just as much as they give in. And most volunteers will say that. They will say that the ones that I call true volunteers, you know. That's very and good advice. Everybody has different motivation, you know. Well, you know, when you're talking about motivations and in other segments we've talked about, you know, health and staying active. What about the health benefits of getting out of the house and having, we talked about, you know, sense of purpose. Right, exactly. Um, I know myself, I, I was retired for four years and immediately I went to volunteer somewhere because I know the value of it. Uh, it's very important, you know, I, always, I say this in our, when I do my orientation too, we were not created to uh, lay in a hammock and have somebody peel grapes for us, you know. We were created for purpose. We were created to work, to uh, produce, you know. We all need to feel needed. That's very, very important. And uh, so, it's, and if you volunteer, you're definitely gonna feel needed. And one of the things, again, about recognition, you know, most volunteers are happy to have just a thank you. You know, just to know that you know. I know when I was volunteering during that four-year period, just when someone said thank you, it was like, oh. and I've been there and I know all about that, but I know how it feels. So uh, uh, it's very important for, uh, that we don't take volunteers for granted and mm -hmm. we know their value. Um, but that, that hammock and those grapes every once in a while is a good break, right? Well, we take a break, but, you know, it's a, we, we need a reason to get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. We really do. And, um, it's, and it's good to, being retired for four years and not interacting with as many people, um, I can t attest myself that getting involved with mm -hmm. people, especially if you're helping somebody, mm -hmm. uh, man, that's where it's at. Well, really let's talk is. about that. Um, you know, you talked about uh, some of the things that maybe you hear from volunteers, but what do you hear from people who uh, benefit from their service? I know you uh, Oh, you know, I have to tell you about, yes, we have a client that, um, uh, I just happen to have a quote here, um, um, who, uh, 
who had been helped by uh, the Council on Aging. And um, he said, I can't express what, what you have done for me and what it means to me. That's a quote. He later sent a card to his case manager, because he talked to her about it. And he said, the warmest gratitude—and this is what it said on the card—the warmest gratitude comes from needs answered, problems shared, and dreams encouraged. And then inside the card, he wrote, finally, I found a thank you card that says how I really feel. And it listed 73 different ways that he felt gratitude for what had had been done for him. And um, he said there were things like, uh, oh, I feel uh, overwhelmed, I'm happy as a clam, and just all kinds of things listed. And then at the very end, he said, I can't thank you enough for helping to make my life much that much easier. That's so, nice. you know, wow, that gives me goosebumps, you know, and um, that's what it's all about. You well, you, t you mentioned uh, orientation sessions. Uh, how frequently do you have these, and what is an orientation session? We have them about once a month, but guess what? I'm going on vacation, too, next this month, so we're not going to have another one until June. But once a month, usually I have one in the morning and then one in the evening. I'm trying to touch all the bases. And uh, they last about an hour and a half, except the last group I had. Everybody, it was such a small group. They got to know each other. They just kept talking. It was so late by the time we were over. But so usually about an hour and a half. It was a great way for them to meet new people, they, too. It was. They were, it was wonderful. And we, mm -hmm. and we all got to know each other. I felt like we were family. It was well, cool. What are some of the opportunities that you have at, at the Council on Aging oh, as have, far as volunteering? Yeah, we have some great opportunities. Um, and and uh, one of them that everybody knows about is Meals on Wheels, where you actually drive and deliver a meal to a homebound person. It's a wonderful program, um, and it's a nutritious meal, so at least they have one meal a day that's nutritious. Um, they also, we also have uh, our da da dining, excuse me, our senior dining sites where volunteers can go and uh, assist elderly people as they're dining. You know, sometimes they put up the food, they go there to help. Uh, to provide exercise programs, uh, craft activities, uh, entertainment, so all kinds of things. And that can be, you know, it doesn't have to be on such a strict okay. schedule. And those type of things, as well as at our Adult Day Health Care Center. And right, Adult Day Health Care Center. And I have to mention something that, you know, we have a program called Telesmile, where you don't even have to leave your home to be a volunteer. That's a great and, point. Uh, and there's a neat uh, quote that says, you know, uh, just knowing that somebody cares, like, is, you know, it's the be best medicine of all, having somebody to talk to. Well, so, Betty, before we wrap up, we're about to run out of time, but let me just ask you one question. You know, you mentioned in the very beginning that the wheels would stop if volunteers Went on went on strike, so to speak. Um, I know it's hard to uh, put a monetary value on on this giving from the heart, but. Mm -hmm. If someone had to try to equate that on a financial, um, I know you mentioned some numbers here recently right. that were pretty surprising. Well, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics estimates the value of a volunteer's uh, per hour is twenty-two dollars and fourteen cents, and I did the math, and we had. Uh, uh, this past year, just the Council on Aging alone, the value of the vo that volunteers donated to us was over two hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars. So not bad. Not bad at all. Not well, Betty, bad. thank you for for coming and talking about that, and I um, hope you've motivated somebody else to find their passion. Thank you. Hope so. We'll be right back with more coming of age and details of the United Way of Escambia County's recent 2013 Victory Celebration. <laughs> 